Are EV tolls about to take over the $49 billion helicopter industry? Can they truly challenge helicopters which have ruled urban air mobility for decades? What happens when cleaner, quieter, and cheaper technology starts taking on the heavyweights of aviation? Welcome to the channel. Fly across a city in near silence and skip hours of gridlock traffic, all for the price of a standard Uber ride. That's the future EV toll companies like Joby Aviation, Archer, and Eve Air Mobility are chasing. Unlike helicopters, these electric aircraft promise flights that are not only quieter, but also cleaner, cheaper, and, critically, safer. Let's start with the noise. Traditional helicopters with their massive rotors generate around 80 to 90 decibels during flight. That's about as loud as a lawnmower overhead. EV tolls, on the other hand, operate with multiple smaller electric propellers. This allows them to bring noise levels down to around 60 to 65 decibels, somewhere between a conversation and city traffic. In urban environments, that kind of quiet flight is a game changer. Then there's the cost. Helicopters are incredibly expensive to operate, mainly because of their complex mechanical systems, fuel consumption, and high maintenance requirements. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are designed to be simpler and cheaper to run than helicopters, with estimates suggesting they could cut operating costs by 35 to 50 percent. That's still a big deal for making air travel more affordable. What about safety? Helicopters often rely on a single main rotor, meaning that any failure can be catastrophic. EV tolls use multiple electric motors, which means that even if one fails, the others keep the aircraft stable, adding a layer of redundancy that enhances safety. And of course, there's the environmental angle. EV tolls are powered by electricity, making them capable of operating completely carbon-free. At a time when sustainability is at the forefront of global aviation goals, that's a huge selling point. All of this sounds promising, but are EV tolls ready to challenge helicopters in real-world scenarios? One of the biggest hurdles they face is range. Helicopters are built for endurance and heavy lifting, which makes them critical for medical evacuations, long-range transport, and military missions. EV tolls, at least for now, are more limited. That said, progress is happening fast. For example, Beta Technologies' Alia 250 flew an impressive 621 kilometers, that's 386 miles, on a single charge. They've also successfully tested cargo transport, moving 2,200 pounds over a 24-hour flight window in a simulated medevac mission. That's versatility we wouldn't have expected from electric aircraft just a few years ago. NASA, which has been studying this trend closely, revealed something interesting. Nearly 40% of helicopter usage today is for short, private air taxi routes. That's exactly where EV tolls thrive. Short, predictable flights like airport shuttles and urban hops. NASA believes that EV tolls, with their lower noise levels and emissions, could revolutionize urban air mobility in ways helicopters never could. Now, it's important to give credit where it's due. The helicopter industry isn't going anywhere overnight. It's a $49 billion market that continues to grow and is projected to hit $74 billion in just the next five years. Helicopters excel in areas where EV tolls still struggle like carrying heavy payloads, long-range flights, and operating in challenging remote environments. Think about military helicopters like the Black Hawk, which are unmatched for endurance and performance in critical missions. However, even established helicopter operators are taking notice of EV toll technology. EVE Air Mobility, for instance, just signed a deal with Helicopters Inc. for up to 50 EV toll aircraft in the U.S. Helicopters Inc., a major operator in over 30 cities, sees the benefits of quieter, lower-cost electric aircraft and is already preparing to integrate them into urban operations. So, are EV tolls going to replace helicopters? The answer, at least for now, is no, not entirely. Helicopters will continue to dominate missions that require long range, heavy lifting, or operations in remote areas. But when it comes to short urban routes, the kind of flights that most city commuters dream about, EV tolls are set to take the lead. Think of routes like Manhattan to Newark Airport. Today, that's a helicopter ride costing hundreds of dollars. Archer Aviation is targeting this exact route with its EV toll air taxis, aiming for fares around $100, a price that could compete with ground transportation. 
The infrastructure piece is key, though. Helicopters already benefit from thousands of helipads worldwide, while EV tolls need dedicated vertiports and fast charging stations. Companies like EVE are developing urban air traffic management systems to make these networks a reality, but it will take time and investment. Here's the bottom line. EV tolls aren't replacing helicopters tomorrow, but they are carving out a significant role for short-range urban transport. They're quieter, cheaper, and greener, which makes them ideal for the growing demand in urban air mobility. The EV toll market is expected to hit $57 billion by 2035, and adoption will only accelerate as battery technology improves and infrastructure expands. Meanwhile, helicopters will hold their ground where EV tolls can't yet compete. So, are EV tolls set to overtake the helicopter industry? For short urban routes, the answer is a resounding yes. But for now, helicopters still reign in heavy-duty operations. The future isn't about one replacing the other, it's about EV tolls and helicopters finding their roles in a new era of aviation. But as battery technology continues to improve, the real question is, how long until helicopters start feeling the heat? Let me know what you think in the comments below.